Here you go. Jeremy Thomas from Six Methods Martial Arts here in Rogers. Um, and today we got a few things to talk about. Um, a couple new weapons that have come in and a request to go back and look at another weapon, uh, specifically the Liao Dao from LK Chen. Uh, so thank you very much for requesting that. And please, guys, feel free to request whatever you want that's, you know, within topic of the scope of what we do here. But please, by all means, feel free to request. All right, let's jump right into it. Please forgive my growing casual today. I do have my Boo Con shirt on. Which, hello to Sifu, Sifu uh, Russ and Sifu uh, Josh down in Florida, and also Sifu Dale. Hope you guys are doing great. Need to get a black one to match, match the blue. <clears throat> so we'll start with the Liao Dao. So the Liao Dao. Is very large as you can see. Okay, this was this was a Mongolian weapon used during a time when Mongolians were in control of China. Now, one thing we know historically for certain is that the Mongolians had a much more animal protein based diet than uh, did the Han Chinese or other ethnic Chinese, who mostly um, kept agricultural agricultural foods were their staple, you know, rice, rice, uh, most of their food, animal protein came from fish and whatnot. Um, but there was much more, much more animal protein in the Mongolian diet, hence bigger guy, bigger weapon. So, upon my first time cutting Tommy with it, or cutting it all with it, I realized the real challenge is stopping the cut. Okay? This thing's so heavy and it cuts so well that you can pass right through a, a single mat without feeling it and start bringing it down towards the ground, which you will want to do. As soon as you're through your target, you want to stop, okay, and then readjust for your next movement. But that's the biggest thing is you have to have the upper body strength to stop that blade from going all the way down. That's what I found is the biggest challenge. And So the name given to this model was Twin Peaks Liao Dao, and the inspiration for that is, of course, the spine, the twin twin upper points on the spine, okay? A spine which starts out extremely thick, okay, extremely thick spine, and it stays pretty thick right up until about three inches past the second mountain or peak of the spine, okay? So that's why we have the Twin Peaks there. That's a reference to the top parts of, of the blade geometry. On the back end, we have this plating, okay? I'm sure it can be used for attacking in any way with the flat, okay? Or with one of the harder, sharper ends. But what I really think it's there for is to counterbalance. Because this, this sword has a really good balance for the size it is. Okay, it's almost right on this. Yeah, it's very well balanced. Very, you know, if I can do this with one hand, it's because it's a well-balanced sword. It's not because I'm Superman. No, um, so. So it's it's heavy, but if you can get it up and keep it from hitting the ground, this will be you'll have no trouble cutting. So cutting bottles with a sword like this is is you're not testing anything, okay? You're just it's gonna go through no matter if you let the sword do all the work with all its weight or if you try to snip it real fast, it's gonna happen. Fast snips. Or if you wind up. Okay. It's going to go through any bottle. I specifically pick these uh, non-symmetrical, heavier shaped trumpet piano bottles just to make the point. Okay. Another point I'd like to make is a lot of people don't in between every cutting session, but I do like to at least give a congenial wipe or two from the water, whether I'm resheathing the blade or not, just so it doesn't set on there a little too long under the sun and leave a nice watermark. Okay. As far as what you, you can use for that, you can use bandanas, you can use... Um, microfiber towels, you can use cleaning glasses. Personally, I prefer the uh, microfiber handkerchiefs from Olight. 
which got me navy and OD green. So obviously I have a navy version, and this is what I use to wipe down my blades after cutting. They're uh, $9.99. Uh, I think uh, I think I'm going to go back and get the OD green one. But nevertheless, I highly recommend that if you're out, especially on a bright sunny day, have have something, even if it's just a cheap two dollar dollar bandana from Dollar General. Just make sure you wipe it off there, or or you'll get a personalized water stain. I like to start with it in my off hand, so it forces me to practice the exchanging to the other hand. Okay. All right, then I step in for my cuts. Okay, have one fall, no big deal. Now, we don't have a chiburi in, in uh, TCMA like the Japanese do, but we do have defensive positions. Okay? So after you cut anything, you should always be coming back to a defensive position. Okay? Single hand sword usually down here, two hander usually stays right on the center, or chudan no kamai. Okay? But always cut and return to a defensive, threatening position. Now, the Liao Dao, made for thrusting? No, no, it wasn't made for it, but it's a function of it, absolutely. No issues there. So, was it made to stab? No. Is it a part of its functionality? Yes. But mostly this thing's made to take big swings from big guys, take the legs out from under a horse, the horse drops, throws the rider, finish him off on the ground, move on. It gives an infantryman a fighting chance against a mounted cavalryman. While obviously this is too high for what the target would be, the mats I have soaking and will be cutting tomorrow, some of them with this, I will be setting up two, the length of a horse's legs to show that the chopping of the horse's legs actually does work. Okay? So I will be setting that up tomorrow and doing that demonstration for now. A little bit more resistance, but you'll go through. So, I've basically shown what it's capable of here, some of the reasoning behind the geometry, okay, and the balance. The balance being so good makes this so the sword can be used by smaller people. Now that said, you still have to have the upper body heft to at least bring it up and stop it on the way down. Other than that, It'll keep itself pretty much in perpetual motion. Okay? Alright, I hope that answers some questions about the Kitan Liao Dao. Uh, I'll be doing some cutting tomorrow. Uh, that'll get uploaded ASAP, possibly Sunday night or Monday. Alright? Thank you guys. Anybody that wants to wants a specific topic, please send the questions in, comment, anywhere. We'd be happy to do them for you.